This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a trippy text animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a pretty simple effect but looks very cool and you can use it in a number of different ways like a music visualizer or maybe a lyrical video and stuff like that. With that said, I am Nikhil from Dovemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be a title placeholder. So I'm going to type in title and hit OK. Then select the text tool and type in the text that we want. For the font, I am using Integral CF, one of my favorite font, and then we can type in any text that we want to. I'll align this into the center. Then go back into a render composition, drag and drop the title composition into the render comp. And then let's use a very interesting effect called CC Mr. Mercury. So I'm going to hit double click. To apply that up and as you can see right off the bat we get this kind of a mercury liquid splashing out and you can move this point to whichever position that you want and you can achieve a really interesting look as you can see for now i'm just going to reset this and play around with some values here so let's set the radius x and radius y both of them to somewhere like around you know 150 or 160 something like that so we get this really nice and interesting look for the velocity i'm going to increase this to around 1.8 and for the birth rate i'm going to bring this down to 0.4 so we get some less liquidy bubbles for the longevity i'm going to set this to around 5 and the gravity let's set this to minus 0.8 and for the resistance, I'm going to set this to 0.2 because I want very little bit of resistance as you can see. And it's looking pretty nice. Now I'm going to set the animation from explosive to fire, which is going to give us the result result that I'm looking for. As you can see, it looks pretty nice and blobby. Then we can increase the blob both sides. So I'm going to set this to around 2.5. That should be a good point to start with and the blob depth size to 0.5 so let's see what we get yep this is the look that i am going for which i think looks pretty nice now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information, check out the link in the description below. Now let's select the layer or composition. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And on this one, I'm going to bring down the velocity to 1.4. And let's increase the birth rate a bit. So 0 0.6. And then bring down the blob birth size to around, let's go with 1.5. I think 1.7 should be fine. Yep. And then set the blob depth size to point two and now we get a pretty interesting look now one thing that you can do here is i can also add a fill to add a different color to this particular layer so i can go into fix and preset type in fill and let's add this and you know right off the bat you get a very interesting look which you can use it if you want to but i like to keep it white for now 
and what i like to use instead of this i like to go with an rgb split effect which i also covered in my previous tutorial but let me just do it one more time so i'm going to select both the layers hit Control shift c let's call this animation all right going to effects and preset type in shift channels double click to apply that up and set the take red green from and take blue form to full off we just need the red all right let's duplicate this hit Control d to duplicate it select the second one set this to off and turn on the green basically set this hit Control d to duplicate it select the third one set this to full off and just turn on the blue channel and then select both these two layers and set the blending mode of them to add and you cannot see anything because now we need to displace them by just one frame so i can move this like that and boom there we get this really nice rgb split and as you can see it looks pretty awesome looks very nice you can do number of different things with this you know you can actually duplicate the layers you can change the design style if you want to so let's say if i have a simple title here i can add some design elements so i'll set the stroke to around 10 and let's set this to white and create a box for a text let's align this into the center and we get this really interesting look it looks kind of trippy you can create some cool music audio visualizers as well you can create a lyrical video as well with this animation style so that was kind of a more of a quick tip tutorial but i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you hit that like button and do let me know in the comment section below and if you guys are watching my video for the very first time then make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i am nikhil and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out